for a black person that owned a drum. Because they also used drum for communication. So it was a very important instrument in black music. In the earliest years of historically black colleges and universities, the band directors came home to teach after attaining their musical degrees in the North, often from programs in the Big Ten. Today's HBCU bands have superimposed their Southern experiences over the traditions of their Northern training. We've always been a great marching band and always been a great playing band. We do have uh, and always did have showmanship. The type of uh, strenuous activities that we go through, you got to be able to play, you got to be able to march, you got to be able to dance. We're a show band. The renowned marching bands of the SWAC conference have three major elements in common. Musicality, marching precision, and showmanship. Mastering these components distinguishes HBCU bands from all other marching bands in the land. I think this is as a rite of passage. There's certain music that all students should play in a marching band. The first key to a successful HBCU band is the musicianship, mastering the performance of traditional band music. Being able to play the John Philip Sousa marches. The marches are the only music that are written for marching band. There are certain ways you have to play those marches. When you're teaching nuances and interpretation, when you're trying to teach the kids how to, to be musical expressive with some type of compassion, Lord, eat up. I need to be played warm and compassion. Warm. It should make you feel a little fuzzy about being an American. The second key element is the marching style. Patterned after the Big Ten core style bands, the HBCU bands in time created their own legacy, the show band. Part old school with the high leg lift, mostly new school playing and dancing in a flowing motion, like the river. I think the Ohio States and the Michigans, they do core style road stepping. One thing that separates Michigan and Ohio State from Jackson State, they're not really a certain patterns of motion as we have, you know, they're more or less a follow the leader in a core style setting. I think our shows are more perpetual, non-stop, kaleidoscope, Pictures of collapsing and unfolding. And, and it's harder to implement our certain style. What is show? The third major ingredient is showmanship. We're gonna bring that oomph, that excitement, and we're gonna dance, and we're gonna dance well. Being able to play loud, high, fast, you have to have that fire. You have to have that spark. When you hear sixty thousand fans rowing, pom-poms flashing, on their feet, applauding for you, that means we got the house. What the HBCU bands bring is not only good music, not only good marching, but entertainment. You got to look down that river, all the way from St. Louis to New Orleans. All of those colleges, that are connected, have similar experiences. The history is long and the roots deep with these great bands. And we'll be back with more live music from Legion Field in Birmingham in a moment. <laughs>